happens is, is we go back and talk about the ESOP that was created in 2009. What role did the ESOP have with each and every one of you as you, as you decided to retire? I can go. Go ahead, Mike. I, I might pivot the question a little bit. I think, you know, the, my background, well, I didn't start at HKM. I started at a similar facility, Los Alamos National Lab, and um, and kind of got that you know you're just a number sort of feeling, you know, where nobody really knows who you are, or what you do, um, and so I was really looking for a company that um, where my voice made a difference, and I think. Uh, you asked a different question, but but coming to Pioneer and having just the ability to own even you know a small percentage of Pioneer was, was a big thing. And being able to sit on on those board meetings, um, and then and then moving and transitioning to an ESOP just seemed like icing on the cake. You know, of of now everybody uh, at Pioneer is going to have. Um, a little piece of the pie and a little skin in the game and um, and it just felt like it kind of united the company on those fronts and and so coming around to your question of you know how, what kind of difference did it make when I was considering retirement I just I just felt like um, you know this is a great investment for the long term because I'm investing in myself, I'm investing in my coworkers, my peers. Um, you know, it's just, it's something that I have, I personally can do something about the value of it. Um, whereas shares in your 401k, you know, you can buy them, you can sell them, you can write nasty letters to the, <laughs> the board, but you really can't influence the value of that. And so, for me to be actively working towards the value of my retirement was, is huge. Sure.